In order to program your AT1080 for, you're going to need an AT1080 uh, programmer. Uh, so here's the one I've uh, invented or devised. And to make it, first of all, you'll obviously need to buy the materials. So uh, if you click on Bill of Materials, you see a list of all the things you can uh, you need to get, where to get them, how much they're going to cost. And then you're going to need to assemble your uh, programmer. And then you're going to need to download and install the Arduino IDE. And then you're going to need to add Spence Conde's AT Tiny Core to your Arduino software. Um, there are other uh, AT Tiny cores that you will uh, come across on the internet if you look for them. But I like Spence Conde's because his um, allow it supports the tone command, which allows you to make sounds with a buzzer. To get started, the first step is to open up your Arduino IDE and then click on File Preferences. And you're going to have to uh, add a Boards Manager URL. So if I click on this little box here, you'll see that I already have um, two Board Manager URLs in here. And uh, we're going to have to add a third one. So these are for different uh, boards that do different things. We need one that supports the AT Tiny boards or AT Tiny chips. So to get those, I'm going to go back to this page, and right here you'll see the GitHub project page for uh, Spence Conde's core. And if I scroll down, um, you'll see all the information you could you ever want about how these uh, the cores work, um, the commands that are supported, uh, the bootloaders, uh, pretty much pretty much everything you would need to know in order to use um, the AT Tiny 84 chip with with Spence Conde's core or his uh, software to support it. So um, I'm not going to scroll through all of this. I'm just showing this to you here so you get an idea of all the information you need. The thing that we need right now is towards the top here. It is the installation uh, information. And specifically, we need this board manager URL right here. So I'm going to highlight it and uh, copy it. And I'm going to go back to my Arduino IDE. And I'm going to just paste it right in here. So uh, each, each row or each line should be a separate URL. And so now I hit OK. And I'm going to hit OK again. Now, to get this to work, uh, at least with this version of the Arduino IDE, I believe I have to restart it. So I'm going to close it. And then I am going to open it again. And if I click on Tools, at this point in time, if I look at Boards, I don't see any ATtiny84 boards listed here. What I have to do is click on Boards Manager. And since I added the uh, board manager URL for the AT Tiny core that Spence Conde created, I can now type AT Tiny right here, and I will see his um, his board his boards right here, and I can go ahead and install those. Okay, now that they're installed. I'm going to close, and let's see if they're here yet. Uh, yeah, you can see they're all listed right here. So now we have the software set up correctly so that we can actually program these boards.